Multiple myeloma is difficult to diagnose because the symptoms are very general. Many other diseases could cause these symptoms. The most common symptoms that someone will go to a doctor with if they have multiple myeloma include fatigue, bone pain, renal impairment, an increased number of infections, so they'll have a constant cold, constant flu. You can imagine it's really hard to identify that this is due to myeloma and not due to many other diseases which can also lead to these symptoms. Early diagnosis is important because it prevents end organ damage. End organ damage is damage to other organs caused by the effects of the underlying cancer. In multiple myeloma, the most frequent end organ damage is damage to the kidneys. And the quicker a patient is diagnosed, the less chance there is for kidney damage to occur. One of the reasons multiple myeloma is difficult to diagnose is that often the patients themselves don't seek medical treatment because they don't realise that the symptom is a symptom of an underlying disease. For instance, fatigue, which is one of the most common symptoms of multiple myeloma, often people just put it down to ageing because most multiple myeloma patients at first diagnosis are quite elderly, so they can be 72 is the average age of diagnosis for multiple myeloma. And you can imagine, they go, oh, yes, I'm feeling tired, but that's because I'm getting older. And often it takes a family member to go, just go get it checked out. And that's one of the most important things about Multiple Myeloma Awareness Month. It gets that message across. It's probably nothing, but it could be multiple myeloma and it is worth going seeing a doctor.